In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between the different versions of Adobe Lightroom. So on the right here, we have Adobe Lightroom Classic. And on the left, we have Adobe Lightroom. We also have a mobile version of Adobe Lightroom that can be downloaded onto Android, iOS. You can use it on tablets and, and smartphones. We also have a browser-based version of Adobe Lightroom, which you can access at lightroom.adobe.com. Um, you just log in with your Adobe account and you can access all your shared folders um, uh, basically from anywhere, um, which is great if you're on kind of quite a low spec machine or if you just want to show somebody something, uh, sort of some of your images or you want to use it for a presentation or something like that. So for this video, I'm just going to concentrate on the two main versions, um, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom Classic. Everything in Adobe Lightroom applies to the mobile version as well. Probably the first difference that you'll notice between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic is the interface. So Adobe describe Lightroom Classic as being more comprehensive and describe uh, Lightroom as being simpler to use. So that's their kind of terminology for the difference between this. And you can actually see just by just from a quick glance of uh, all the extra information that, that's available on that first kind of first kind of screen. Um, we've got kind of this, uh, we've got bars all around, we've got menus on, on both sides. We've got a thumbnail bar at the bottom and um, it's got an awful lot more information um, on, on kind of first look. Um, Lightroom is much more kind of visual for starters. We've got kind of like icons and things down here, like little images. Um, it's much more slicker and much more compact, I guess, to make it fit kind of better onto, onto mobiles and tablets and things like that. Um, beyond that kind of first main screen, um, if I go up to the top menu here, so our, our main modules in Adobe Lightroom Classic are library and develop. So I click on develop, that takes us into where we kind of do our editing. And it's, it's actually very, very similar to all the other versions of Lightroom. If I go over to Lightroom here and just click on that, you'll see that it brings up this pretty much the same interface. It's just less compact than the one on the right. Again, it's made so that it, when it's small on, on mobiles and tablets and things, it's easy to easy to use. Now, again, the, the other thing, probably for the same sort of reasons to keep everything compact, you can only have kind of one sidebar open at, open at a time and all your information is in here. Everything's very much kind of put away in little blocks, whereas in Lightroom Classic, you can um, you have your thumbnails at the bottom, you have um, a quite a comprehensive kind of left hand menu and right hand, you've got everything at your fingertips. So as you can see, to get to presets in Adobe Lightroom Classic, you just drop down the menu to get to presets in Adobe Lightroom. You just click on, on that and you can see um, that now it's taken up this extra space, whereas with Adobe Lightroom Classic, um, the image is still full size. But the biggest difference between Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Lightroom Classic is the way that they store images. So Adobe Lightroom stores images online. That's its, its kind of main purpose. And the idea is, is to have access to images from lots of different devices for people who and mainly um, using images online on social media, on websites and things like that. Adobe Lightroom Classic, on the other hand, is a much more uh, photographers who are producing print or um, working with images that are being exported at high resolution. And um, that's why at the top here in the menu, you can see that we've got things like um, print, web, slideshows, books, and actually all of those are missing from the other version of Lightroom. So Adobe Lightroom stores all of its images online by default. You can change that. You can have all of the image backed up on hard drive as well, but you have to select that in, in the settings. 
Adobe Lightroom Classic by default stores all of its images in a catalog file on a hard drive. So I've done another video about the Lightroom Classic catalog, which I will link at the end of, end of this video. Even though Lightroom Classic by default stores its images on a hard drive, that doesn't mean that you can't upload them online, that you can't sync them across um, across uh, your devices and things like that. It's just done in a bit of a different way. So you kind of have to opt into it. And on the left hand side here, you can see there's some folders, some collections, and there's this little arrow at the left hand side, which means that it's been synced across my Adobe account. And then on the, the left hand side here in Adobe Lightroom, you can see this is a kind of a standard thing. They're called collections in Adobe Lightroom Classic, and then they've changed the name to albums in Adobe Lightroom. We can see here the resource album or collection here, um, basically synced uh, across um, my different versions of, of Lightroom. So that basically means that this is it's accessible in the mobile version. If I go back to my library, the other thing that Lightroom Classic has an abundance of is these kind of organizational tools. Um, there's a huge number of ways of kind of tagging your images, either with colors, with numbers. Um, you can see all of these different kind of uh, filters down here. Um, so if I go to my filters here and you can see, so you've got flags, you've got ratings and you've got colors. And you can use them to fil to filter through filter through your images. You still have the the star rating and the flags uh, in Adobe Lightroom. Um, I mean, really, you probably don't need that many more than that. But when you're using hundreds of images, this can be really really useful. It just gives you more options, basically. The other thing that that's quite obvious in Adobe Lightroom Classic is is this bit down here. So this is kind of your your file info, your EXIF information, your keywording. Again, very much about organizing your images um, in uh, as broad a way as possible. You Again, you can do this in, in Adobe Lightroom. Uh, it's just kind of hidden away and it's less comprehensive than, than what Lightroom Classic is. Um, so here you can you can fill in your, your file info, you can add keywords, and um, the, this commenting section, this is for sh if you're sharing with um, with other people. So you can actually, your albums and things you can share online and people can kind of comment on them and things like that. So if go up to the menu here in Adobe Lightroom Classic, these are the things that are kind of missing from the, the other version of Lightroom. We've got map that will show you the location of where images were taken if you've got them geotagged. We've got book that allows you allows you to create books um, that can be either exported PDFs and JPEGs, or they can you can send them to Blurb to be printed. We've got slideshow. Um, this is uh, kind of really useful. I find this really useful for kind of teaching and things like that. And we've got print and the print module in Adobe Lightroom Classic is is really quite excellent. And um, it allows you to do things like contact sheets and things like that, as, as well as full size prints and, and export to um, export to printer. It also allows you to export to a JPEG file as well. So you can create images with borders and things like that. And then we have web galleries. You can create web galleries and things like that. Um, you can also do um, uh, web galleries and things in the other version of Lightroom um, by going to share and share into Adobe Portfolio. So other than that, really, when it comes to editing images, there's very little difference between the two different versions. Um, the, the interface is a little bit different and some of the things are in different places. So you can see you've got your, your masks and your, your cropping tool and things there and they're just down this way on on uh, the other version of Lightroom. In any version of Lightroom, the layout of the tools is pretty much the same with the exception of a smartphone where the, the tools will be along the bottom instead. 
and the only real significant difference with with the tools on versions is in the browser version where you don't have a histogram and you don't have the masking tools hopefully that's been helpful showing some of the differences between the different versions of adobe lightroom if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel and if there's anything specific you kind of any questions that you want answering or anything that you want me to cover in in my videos please just leave a message in the comment and I'll I'll get round to that as soon as I as soon as I can thank you very much